Welcome to this full moon reading here by me. My name is Andrew Billo. I'm the Dream Shaman. You're on my YouTube channel to rock your life with fun and ease using energy healing and the power of your consciousness. Yay! So let's see. Um, the full moon on Saturday, May 18th, is in the sign of Libra. So if you're confused about that, um, I am using the 13 signs sidereal, true sidereal astrology that I've rediscovered last year and I found it to be much more accurate and resonating for me personally. And I'm, this is something I became very passionate about and um yeah it's it's also connected <laughs> with me personally as my um my twin flame is born on the 13th of december so um there's not only a 13 there she's she's also um her son is in the so-called 13th sign which is called Ophiuchus, Ophiuchus, uh, the snake bearer, the healer. So Ophiuchus is the 13th sign. And if that's something new for you, um, there are also some channels uh, and I will put them in the description as there are not many channels who, who um, use this uh, at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna do a general message with the fairy tarot so the, like with every reading uh, the the only rule is take what resonates and leave the rest behind so even if you don't follow true sadir astro astrology if you um, if you're more into Vedic astrology which is a bit similar or if you're using uh, the mainstream Western astrology that's called tropical um, that's also fine if you resonate with the messages there may be good messages for you as my intention is to give you messages that are for your highest good and after the um, general message from the fairies for this full moon I will also give readings for every moon sign <laughs> because it's the full moon not about the sun signs so if you want to know what your moon sign is uh, I've also put a link in the description where you can calculate your moon in, in the true sidereal 13 signs astrology so find out what where your moon was in when you were born <laughs> and then you know what the message is for you so let's get started with a general message full moon in Libra and Libra is about relationships harmony and balance and here we have a confirmation from the fairies this is the lovers so also for those who resonate with twin flames or who are looking for a soulmate or are already together with a soulmate and want to improve their relationships um, the full moon is a good time to yeah, improve relationships, finding balance. Uh, you could also be finding a lover or like being a lover, finding the lover within yourself, doing some inner work or sharing with others, co-creating um, yeah, maybe working together with another coach or a healer or a reader or working together with someone um, yeah to co-create something together the lovers uh, Libra is also ruled by the planet Venus and yeah Venus is the planet of love And yeah, there's love coming in. 
the Venus energy. Just feel the Venus energy in your heart. You can also visualize that um, the planet Venus is sending you pink light, activating your heart loving energy. And feel this pink light washing all over your body and your your energy. Fill yourself up with love. Discover your own self-love. And um, be, be the lover for yourself first. And then also establish that in, in your connections. So this, this could be about romantic relationships. It could also be um, Libra with, with friendships and all sorts of connections, business, uh, business partners, all sorts of relationships. And um, yeah, building more harmony in those relationships. Well, here with the card, the lovers, uh, there's probably a lot of uh, romantic feelings with the moon in the air and um, yeah, the moon in the air <laughs> and when you see here Luna this dragon she's staring at the moon she's got her name from the moon La Luna and she's got that romantic romantic um, view <laughs> on her eyes <laughs> She's a hopeful romantic. Don't be hopeless. Don't be hopeless romantic. Be hopeful. So let's create some hope for the lovers. And now I will continue with the messages for the moon signs. So if you don't know that yet, look up where your moon is in. Moon in Aries. So the moon in Aries is a very strong. Here's the card strength. 11. 11 is also a number of awakening and also one and one is like one on one. <laughs> one on one connections. So you bringing your strength, the strength of your Aries moon, um, the power, the courage, the confidence, your, your fitness, <clears throat> your competitive mind, you're bringing that into um, into something co-creative, into some kind of relationship, uh, some kind of one-on-one, -on -one. so working together with someone, bringing your strength into um, working together with someone, yeah. And y your gift, your your innate power is is your strength. And um, working with someone else who maybe I could say maybe more spiritual, in a sense, um, you can both work together in a very powerful way. Like you're you're very grounded in a way or fiery, and when the other person is very sensitive, intuitive, you two can be a great team. Moon in Whoop. Moon in Taurus is the card Unity. So Taurus, you naturally love good food and beauty and health, and you're naturally a very grounded and strong, caring personality. And here you have the Unity card. I feel this is about coming into union with yourself and others. 
So bringing that that uh, gentle Taurus into into your relationships, the Libra aspect, unity. I feel it's it's you don't have to talk much. Um, it's more about bringing your grounded energy into your your friendships, your relationships, or also loving relationships. Just bringing your 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 grounding presence into it um, is very helpful at the moment. You don't need to do too much talking. Just be present, just be like a guardian and um, that will help you bring unity um, into, into your relationships. Moon in Gemini. So the moon in Gemini, um, you are a very naturally talkative person. The moon representing your instincts and your in in intuition the natural side of you, your emotions. Um, and Gemini is very communicative and also connected with theater and acting. And here you have the Princess of Summer. Gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. Um, what does it say? A new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So, this full moon is a good time for you uh, to talk to a friend that you trust. And um, could be a new relationship coming in. And I feel it's good for you yeah, to, to talk to someone that you trust. Uh, maybe you're having romantic feelings with someone. And what really helps you is to talk to talk with a good friend about it. <laughs> Maybe you're a little bit holding yourself back or you don't really know or like a little bit dreaming about uh, what this new love that's coming in is all about. And um, yeah, it's, as you care for others, you, you could also be someone who helps others by listening and talking to them. And um, but it's like a like win-win for both. So talk with a good friend, <laughs> talk about your feelings with a good friend, and that's the way you really help each other a lot. Moon in Cancer. Cancer is also ruled by the moon. <laughs> so Cancer and Libra. You've got five of spring. This could mean that you may have some struggles, some fights going on, probably with some children or something in your house or a new environment. And um, yeah. so take your time to. Um, to to. I want to say what's what's coming through here is it's important to go within first, like I said in the general message, go within, and um, clear up your own emotions and and the themes f for yourself. But also most important than the next step is to reach out some kind of form of therapy or some kind of help. To really clear up this 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 mess here, <laughs> if you want to go through this mess, and I'm sure you do, because there is there's lots of small things that are blocking the view of the beauty of of the whole thing, and yeah, you know, take take it uh, take all these blockages little by little, and you will light up and find more harmony in your life when you go through those blockages.
Moon and Leo. Three of Spring. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Okay, so you got your, your moon in Leo. That means you're naturally a very um, fun person, um, very creative. And you might prefer to improvise your whole life. <laughs> playing like a lion like uh, just improvising and here this is about patience and it's a good time for you to take that fire energy that you have and look in the long term and maybe also reaching out to others looking where not only you are in your life but also how it affects other people and that's that's the Libra aspect about the relationships the harmony the balance with others and really looking into how does how how are you affecting other people as well and how can you co-create together and have fun together and in in a good way and also have patience about this um if there's no one around who wants to play with you um just make a wish use the full moon to make a wish, make your intention, and the, the right people, the right friends will come. Moon in Virgo. You got the Emperor, of course. <laughs> that fits very well to you. Like four, stability. Uh, you're naturally very grounded and hardworking, a hardworking person, detail oriented. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So, this is your power here. This, the Emperor represents very much the, the Virgo energy and also Libra is the harmony, the balance between mind and heart that you can see here on the card. So the full moon is a good time for you to really embrace your emotions and um, be clever at the same time. <laughs> so looking at, looking at your mind and your heart both with love and finding the balance within yourself um, using your structured way of life to to bring something heartful loving into the world balancing mind and soul moon in Libra congratulations you got your moon natal moon in Libra and the full moon is also in Libra Libra is an air element and winter is also the element of air. You got the princess of winter. Inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic. Information that can help you but with which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. An indigo child or adult. So there's, there's an energy of courage and confidence here. Speaking your truth. Um, you're really in your element um, with with the moon in Libra and um, you had the full moon it's your 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 Libra power is full on so you you bring in some um, I would even say diplomatic like you you bring bring on some justice um, you speak up your truth and um, or you inquisitive you you're looking for something you're looking for a cause um, you're truthful you're spreading your truth that's what Libra does you know something and this this full moon is a time for you is this really that the fairies really say don't hold back um, you know what's right you know what's true spread the word so this is really a a push a kick in your ass from the fairies to really speak up now. Mm -hmm. 
Moon and Scorpio. You got ten of spring. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So, Moon and Scorpio, you have a very secretive nature. And. Um, Maybe you feel like you're hiding in your cave, <laughs> but this this full moon is a time to go out. Um, Libra is connecting with other people, relationships, balance, harmony, reaching out. Um, I feel like this is a time for you to to go out of your cave and have a party. And this the card says reach out for others for help, um, but I feel like. So this could resonate with you, but, but what I'm getting here intuitively is um, get out of the closet, <laughs> get out of your cave and have, have fun. Uh, don't worry. Just go to a party and uh, dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> Just dance for yourself and um, you will see maybe someone wants to dance with you. And if not, just have fun with it, with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Reach out. Go out. Moon and Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus the healer. You got the moon and Ophiuchus. That means you got the very witchy side of you that comes out at night. <laughs> Nine of winter. Unfounded fear. Focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion of the problem. Aye. Here's the full moon, right? So you may be like this fairy here, worrying about all the things, being really activated by the, by the full moon to... Um, this, this full moon in Libra is probably bringing up a lot in you and instead of worrying here's a tip focus on gratitude focus on what you have don't worry about the future um, also take your time um, if you're worrying about something you can look into what you what you can heal about the situations. So this is a time really for you to... Yeah, it's so it's okay to be this thinking person, dreamy person here on the card. And um, you can embrace that side of you. But what is required of you and this may be uncomfortable is to really go into the healing and to release release these worries release these th this negative thinking and look for ways to heal yourself into thinking more positively and moving from worry to faith and trust and being a hopeful romantic Moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Prince of Spring. That's the fire, baby. Moon in Sagittarius. Woohoo! Party boy. Or girl. <laughs> Charming, self confident, passionate, restless. That's your energy. Immediate action, a challenge. You can successfully manage a passionate relationship. So, this full moon in Libra brings an opportunity for you to take your natural inborn fire Sagittarius passion into chasing I don't want to say chasing but like <laughs> running forward into um, what does it say a passionate relationship you're moving forward into it um, 
I don't like the word chasing because that's more like being attached, be detached, but um, also follow your heart. It's like head over heels. <laughs> it's 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 the energy of just going for it. Because you you got you you know it all, you got it all. You just go right into it. You just run right into the right person. So. This is a great time for you to yeah, shift like a tornado into this new romantic opportunities. Um, but don't... I mean, you're, nat you're naturally optimistic and don't worry if there's no one... Don't, don't have too many expectations when I say these things, that r romantic feelings can come up or a new person. Don't don't worry if, if nothing happens and use the time of the full moon to um, go all in, wh whatever that means for you. Um, whatever that means for you to, to make space for love. Whatever you can do, take that action. No matter if there is if there's a new person coming or not. Um, <laughs> It's a good time for you to take action into creating more more balance and creating space in your life for for um, for new relationships. Your moon in Capricorn and you're reading for the full moon in Libra. You got the Prince of Winter. So this is about making a quick solution, mindful solution. Use your intelligence. Um, Moon in Capricorn, you're naturally very practical, grounded. You're a go-getter. You you know how to get your things step by step. You're very cautious. Um, maybe you hold yourself sometimes uh, back because you're worrying too much. Um, Capricorn can be pessimistic in its worst times. So this is a time for really moving on, really taking action and um, using your mind, your structural, logical mind to make decisions and yeah, use your mind. Don't be overwhelmed when there are some kind of um, new friends or romantic feelings coming up with this full moon. Uh, use your mind for discernment. Um, I'm hearing don't rush into things, but at the same time this card says a quick, quick decision. Okay, so don't, um, it's, it's almost like having a backup plan or you're the fairy who's, look, the fairy is here on the back of this, I don't know what this animal is. <laughs> you got your, you got your friends, your guardians, your protectors. You're not the one who is really jumping into it head over heels. Um, but you're the one who makes the decisions. You're the boss here, right? You say this way and it's time for you to make those decisions. Um, you're not the one who's... who's... Um, like the first horse of a carriage. You're the one here who's giving directions. And this is the time for you to look for directions, make decisions, and delegate um, delegate to the to the people who listen to you to really move forward with your with your life and um, all the relations that you have to other people. Also, in in your business, making wise decisions in your business. The moon in Aquarius, you got the Empress, number three, creative, um, communication, collaboration, co-creation, community. The Empress says it's time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. 
there's a lot of gold here so you may take this full moon and take this time for a creative ritual and um, use the power of your imagination and you, you got the magic mind <laughs> you got the, the, the moon in Aquarius you're, you're naturally a magician and you know how to create abundance in your life and this full moon in Libra is a good time for you to take that magical power of your mind of your imagination and um, yeah creating creating more abundance uh, in terms of money prosperity but also maybe creating more friends um, man manifesting new friendships like Libra is, is the relationships to others I'm um, feeling here in the stomach area that um, there might be some blockages um, clearing out relationships take the full moon time to clear out toxic people from your life uh, clear out negative detachments do some cord cutting if you don't know how to do that work with Archangel Michael or um, ask me for help um, yeah clearing out the negative relationships that are holding you back and manifesting new positive ones yeah for, for manifesting friends this is a lot about friends and money here I feel love in all all sorts of forms <laughs> this is a very manifesting full moon for you a wonderful full moon and last but not least the moon in Pisces here we got the Empress again Aquarius also had the Empress so number three for creativity time to take action the power of creativity success that allows for a life of luxury so here's a very gentle creative energy maybe you want to paint or dance something very something very beautifully you could take the full moon um, as an opportunity for for your intuition to flow into what you want to create like um, taking time to draw draw a painting or draw an image in your mind the, the way you want to feel when you are with your friends your colleagues your partners um, it's it's a good time for you to take the inner action here like really imagining and feeling what you what you want to achieve and how you want your relationships to be like and then maybe putting it out into something creative if you like like painting it or writing it down or I'm, I'm seeing some kind of dance here <laughs> so whatever your creative way is um, that's your way and that's okay um, yeah the, you, you have a very individual way of ex expressing yourself all right everybody so that's it for today and if you like this reading if you had some messages that resonate with you no matter what astrology you're following <laughs> give a thumbs up um, yeah see you soon thanks for watching